Spread. It is time for our two faithful to feel devotional with Pastor Charles and Pastor Mrs. Deborah Charles Osazua. Today is Sunday, the fourth day of August 2024. Our topic is Comfort or Labor. Our anchor scripture states No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, It produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Hebrews 12 verse 11 In life, we often face a choice between comfort and labor. Comfort beckons us to rest, relax, and enjoy the present moment, while labor requires effort, dedication, and perseverance. However, it is crucial to remember that choosing comfort at the wrong time can lead to laboring at the age of comfort. When we prioritize comfort over labor, we risk missing out on opportunities for growth, learning, and progress. We may feel temporarily satisfied, but ultimately, we will face the consequences of our inaction. Procrastination and complacency can lead to missed deadlines, unrealized potential and a sense of regret. On the other hand, embracing labor and discipline may be challenging, but it yields a harvest of righteousness and peace. By putting in the efforts, we develop resilience, character and wisdom. We become stronger, wiser and more compassionate individuals equipped to handle life's challenges with grace and confidence. Remember, the choices we make today shape how tomorrow. Let's choose to labor when it is time to labor so we can enjoy the comfort of a life well lived when we reach the age of comfort. Take out some time and identify one area in your life where you have been choosing comfort over labor. Make a commitment to take action and put in the efforts required to achieve your goals. Remember, The temporary discomfort of labor will lead to a lifetime of comfort and peace. Let us pray. Please say after me, Lord, help me to prioritize labor over comfort when it is necessary. Give me the strength and discipline to persevere even when it's challenging in Jesus' name. Praise God. Let us take the confession together. My efforts shall yield a harvest of righteousness and peace, and I shall enjoy the comforts of a life well lived in your time. Praise God. I thank you for being part of this morning devotion. I believe God from what you have taken in through the word of God today. As you step out, your day is blessed, your week is blessed, your family is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will be doing this again tomorrow morning. Stay tuned. God bless you.